Hi, today I am going to explain what is meant by VDR and AC. This was the task given by University of Wollongong UAW. Let's cover all the things step by step. First, explanation of VDR, followed by explanation of AC, at last conclusion. So here VDR is defined to be voltage divider rule and AC is alternate current. So let's go. Explanation of VDR. VDR is mainly used to find voltage across different resistors and it works only with the resistors that are connected in series. We all know that the resistors that are connected in parallel has the same voltage as source. Sum of voltage is equal to source voltage. VDR can be verified by using KVL concepts. KVL is nothing but Kirchhoff voltage law. And here is the VDR formula. V1 is equals source voltage multiplied by the resistance 1 and divided by total resistance. In this case, if you want to find the voltage V2 across the resistance 2, the formula changes. V2 is equal source voltage multiplied by resistance 2 divided by the total resistance. Using this formula, we can go to a simple circuit, this one. So if the question is like, you want to find the voltage V3 across R3, we need to use the same formula but want to change V3 is equal source multiplied by R3 divided by the total resistance. So next to the diagram, there's a tableau column showing all the values for V1, V2, V3. And as I mentioned above the Kirchhoff voltage like KVL, when you sum up V1 plus V2 plus V3, it must be equal to the source voltage. So next explanation of AC alternate current. Alternating current is an electric current which periodically reverses the direction which is said to be alternate current goes back and forth. The usual waveform of alternating current in most electric power circuits is a sine wave. Alternate current flows in either direction but direct current flows in one direction. As I mentioned above the sine wave, we usually know that sine wave starts from zero and takes one periodic cycle. The next to the sine wave we can find, we can see what is direct current and what is alternating current. Direct current flows in one direction and alternate current flows in either directions, that is back and forth. So, so far we covered all the things about VDR voltage divider rule and we had a short example with the sum. And we had a quick glance on what is meant by alternating current and what, uh, how can it be deferred by the direct current. Thank you.